prisoner in Syria was subject to torture, military prison twice, with my father, with my brother. We all were in the same military prison for one time, and when my mom died, the neighbors buried my mom. It's, it's not a very sad story, because it's very common in Syria this, this time. It's very common. And not only the gender problem in the panel, in the panel to see Ribal al-Assad here. His father committed crimes against humanity in Hama. He killed 40,000 human beings, well, wiped I, down the city. Wiped down the city. Where's the money you came from with ANN TV, with your, with your business workers? It's our money that your father stolen from our country 30 years ago. He killed lots of people, and I'm asking you here, would you help to help me to, find, to get your father prosecuted in Geneva or in Lahai? In, the, uh, war, uh, in, in, uh, in charges of crimes against humanity, your father killed lots of people and blood strategic form should be ashamed, this man in the, in the panel here. He has no rights to speak about human rights till we see his father held accountable. He's innocent for now, but he should be held accountable in a fair trial. About 40,000 human beings he killed. I tweeted and Facebooked about you being in this panel. I get 300 comments in 20 minutes. Lots of them saying they're living abroad, exiled, not like you with lots of money from Syrian people. Exiled because of your dad. And they're asking you to ask your dad where are their parents from Tadmor prison. Your dad killed a thousand human beings in Tadmor with, with himself. Great, with great respect, Mohammed, I don't think Thank this you. is the appropriate forum for that uh, dis discussion. It's uh, a forum to have war criminals here representing he their father without, without talking a word about what his father did in the 80s. He killed 40,000 human beings, for God's sake. Human beings are in Europe here. All right. Could All you right. imagine a, a, a city okay. being wiped down? By this, father, this man's father, I and he's lecturing here about human rights and freedom and dignity. Thank you. I think you made your point. Thank you very much. Uh, let me now give you are obliged to reply no, to what was said I'd about him. Say. But you have the right to say yes, something. Yes. Uh, uh, this is, we, we are going to close now, but I, I want to give you a chance. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And, um, you know, it's a great uh, pleasure again to be able to respond this why we are fighting for democracy and freedom in my country and all over, all over, all over the Middle East. Yes, Please, see, you this said is, your, this you is why. Your no, it's, it's okay. You know, this is why. This is what we have, and this is why Syria is where it is today. Because that's the example of opposition that we have in Syria. Everybody wants. Everybody is working on hatred, on revenge, on uh, sectarian issues, on whatever. Okay. Please, if I could speak, you know, in democracy, I give you your time, you should give me my time. You see, that's the beauty about democracy, is that, you know, you've lived in the West, I'm sure in the U.S., as I've heard, and you should have learned a bit about democracy, you know. I've been only two years after your cousin put me and my father in prison. That's my cousin. I've been fighting against my cousin. They tried to kill me in 1994, since I was a child. I left, I was nine I was I, I, I'm sorry, you had a very good chance to say your piece. Please let him reply. I did not say revenge. I said fair trial. I, I didn't say revenge. I'm you saying that's, say, I say the language, I the language you're using, sir. Please, if you could relax and listen, you know. We are talking about the language you're using. Your father, your father did this, your father did that. Did you give me a chance to defend myself? Please. Did you ask about my father? My father, what you don't know, uh, Mr. Abdullah, is my father left Syria in 1984. My father came out in November uh, 2011, and it's all over the internet, YouTube, at a conference in Paris, and he says, I was never responsible for what happened in Hama. You know, and I would love if there's anybody who could, uh, you know, uh, take me or if there's anyone who would like to uh, take me to trial, I'm ready to go. You know, there's not, he doesn't have a problem with that. My father was head of higher education, you know. He was also head of Unit 569, which was uh, at the time acting as presidential guards because the presidential guards did not exist. Yeah, I'm sure you, you know that, or, or you were, you're too young to know that. Uh, please, if uh, you let me continue. And you see, in democracy, you cannot throw allegations and throw wrong things, not based, not based on facts, not based on facts. Sir, please, please, if you have, if there is anything, but why would they lie? Of course, would, would I be working for democracy, if you know, and freedom, if if he did something wrong? Would, would I be, would I be working for democracy and human rights? In democracy and human rights, uh, if, if it was true, then I would sit quiet, I would live, you know, in some island and not be, uh, you know, uh, seeing everywhere. I wouldn't be uh, chairing uh, the, the Arab News sat Satellite TV channel ANN, which was the first Arab news network to promote democracy and freedom in Syria and the Middle East, and I'm sure some Arab people who are here on the panel know that, you know. So if we are promoting democracy and freedom, it is because this is what we want for our country. It's the only uh, way out for our country. And in democracy and freedom, you're able, you know, 
I have, we have nothing to hide. Please come, judge, you know, if you could take us to trial and have, you know, uh, things, facts and proofs. We, we, we'd welcome it, please. Okay. Okay. It, would, it would be great. We'd love to, you know. But please learn about what the meaning of democracy first. Okay. Learn Thank how you. to act. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's, that's good. Um, Mark, you